as of um, June 2019. This is your most recent work, mm, work in I'm progress. Work, working on it at the moment. This is underpainting. And so I see here you've been using some... Uh, so what but techniques have you been using? Well, I'm using Rubens technique, Rubens and Titian. And um, I mean, this is a way to get uh, some uh, uh, repetitive pattern and uh, create a kind of underpainting. How do you do it then? How, what, how does well, this it's go? A stencil. It's a stencil. How do you start? Look, you got. Here's a bit of um, paint and a bit of. Uh, no, but I mean this part first, right? Well, uh, I put some leaves there and then I cut them. So you get some real leaves, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you draw the pattern. Yeah. Well, no, I just um, cast the shadow. Cast the shadow. With the real leaves? Yeah. And then you cut them? And then I cut them. Just draw around the shadow. Okay. If somebody sees this video and they would like to buy one of these paintings from you, are they for sale? No. So why are you painting paintings that are not I'm for sale? Museum to Sebastian. That's my opinion of what I'm doing. I'm making a, a, a um, I want to remind people that there are such things as conspiracies and um, inspirations that are not so obvious, like um, uh, I'm inspired by his life. To Next question would be, this may be your inspiration, but why do you choose to pursue this instead of just painting paintings that you know I'm not quite sure. will sell? I'm and not quite uh, sure, but I mean, it's not, it's not uh, economically viable, but I just feel like I have to. I don't have any legitimate uh, reason. Sounds pretty well, rational. Irrational. Yeah. Well, I think it is probably irrational. But um, what can I do about it? I just love, I just love his story, and uh, I want to paint about him. It's as simple as that.